Yes, everybody, welcome back to Talking Walls. We're back for a brand new update video. Hope you guys are keeping well. Uh, as always, once again, I've still got my black eye at the moment. If you caught the videos last week and maybe the podcast as well, uh, you've seen it's been a week actually since I had this, so it's still it's still there, unfortunately. But I'll uh, keep you guys up to date with the latest Walls news, um, transfer news and rumours. Before we do kick off, though, please go and check out the guys over at Football Prizes once again for this week's prize. Um... As you can see, a link in the top of the description if you want to get involved. And it is this squad signed shirt from the 23-24 season. So if you want to get involved uh, before next Wednesday's deadline, please feel free to use the link in the top of the description down below. Plenty of news over the last week or so anyway. A uh, fresh piece of news coming out today is that Wolves have got a choice to make in regards to their pre-season plans this year. Two big options on the table for Wolves. Uh, one going over to America, where news breaking today. Wolves have been invited as, uh, alongside a few of the Premier League teams for a week-long uh, tour there. Um, so have been invited to take uh, part in the week-long tournament alongside West Ham, Everton and Newcastle. And it would take place in Jacksonville, Connecticut and Tem uh, Tampa Bay. So a big chance for Wolves to go to America. Another option on the table is still Asia as well. Heavy rumours over the last few months or so suggest that could be South Korea once again. Um, obviously, talks with South Korea broke down last year. There was also talks of America a year or two ago, which not none of those came to fruition. But for me, you would hope that Wolves try and make a decision sooner rather than later on this because over the last couple of years, the pre-season plans have been awful. And uh, so if they want fans, you know, Wolves want this to be a big commercial thing, which they obviously want. They need to try and get these plans into fruition and confirmed sooner rather than later. But either way, it'd be really interesting to see where Wolves do end up. Um, we are going into the transfer news now. A big piece of news broke this week that Zhao Gomez is reportedly a target for Manchester United. That came from the Mirror Football. There's going to be loads of rumours with Manchester United, and some of these may well include Wolves players. Of course, with their takeover and Jim Ratcliffe taking over, there's going to be some money there you would expect uh, to be spent for Manchester United. So... Jao Gomez is a very, very talented player. It's already been spoken about over the last few weeks or so. Matt Hobbs is aware that there's going to be interest in him. Um, it's just whether Wolves sell him now and what sort of fee you'll get him for. Now, look, Wolves, it's very, very unlikely Wolves are going to be in European competition come the summer. And ultimately, you can only demand so much money. So in no way on this earth are Wolves going to be able to get $100 million for Jao Gomez, for argument's sake. Towards your 50, 60 million mark is probably a hell of a lot more realistic. Um, and for, for Fosun, that would be an unbelievable piece of business in regards to, you know, this was a player brought in last January. Matt Hobbs' first big pre-season, um, uh, first transfer window, sorry, as technical director. And that was his instruction, buy players for cheap prices with obviously sellable value in the future. And that would be an absolutely perfect scenario for Fosun where, you could probably make 30, 40, 50 million pounds profit on Jao Gomez in such a short space of time. So Manchester United looking at him. We'll wait and see. Walls aren't in a position and don't really want to sell him this summer. But like I said, if bids of 50 million pounds start to come, I think there's going to be conversations there to be had uh, with his representatives. Now, Fabrizio Romano had posted an exclusive story last week that Wolves were chasing a Rochdale youngster, 16-year-old Matthias Mane from, uh, obviously, Rochdale. He is confirmed now that he's been pictured with the Wolves shirt uh, this week. Um, he will join up with the Wolves Academy set up now. Really well-built midfielder and uh, hopefully one for the future as well there. Matthias Mane, remember the name. Let's see if he... Uh, does anything for Wolves. Of course, Wolves giving big opportunities to young players. Wesley Okadua uh, in the first team squad at just the age of 15. He's wanted by some big teams now. And obviously, big opportunities been given to certain players. Nathan Fraser's had those chances. Uh, Leon Chiwome as well, most recently. So, let's, uh, let's wait and see what happens there. Now, in regards to a striker, there's an interesting piece of news broke earlier this week that Wolves are reportedly keeping tabs on the situation of Eddie Nketiah from Arsenal. 
Now, Arsenal have reportedly said that he's free to leave as I look to build some funds ahead of a big transfer window this summer. Um, and of course, a player, a striker, who has scored goals for Arsenal, but just not really been given those first team opportunities. So this would be a very interesting one. In, in regards to a fee right now, there's no real value going on, but it's no secret that Wolves are looking for a number nine. That's what they wanted in January, just gone, failed to get one. And maybe the summer is going to be a much better a window to shop in for Wolves, a lot more time um, to negotiate and pick out which options they want. So Eddie Nketiah at the moment is a potential player that Wolves may well be looking at in the summer as he may be available to buy from Arsenal. Uh, another player that Wolves are reportedly keeping tabs on is Athletic Bilbao winger Alex Berengua. Uh, currently out of contract in the summer, so lots of teams in England and Italy keeping their tabs on him. 28 years of age, lots of experience there. But again, when stories like this do come up, when you've got a player coming up out of contract and loads and loads of teams linked with him, it's normally agent talk to try and bargain over a new deal or a much bigger and better contract elsewhere. So early days on that one for now. But Alex uh, Berengua, winger from Bilbao, a reportedly a player that Wolves are keeping an eye on. Hugo Bueno as well is a subject of some transfer talk this week. Uh, he was uh, had an offer from Celtic in January, a loan bid which Wolves rejected. It said that Hugo Bueno would have been open to the idea of possibly going over to Scotland to play uh, the second half of the season. But it's been reported this week that Celtic may welcome in for another bid. Unsure whether it's a permanent transfer, uh, transfer or a loan bid. But also there's been plenty of clubs in France and Spain keeping tabs on Hugo Bueno's situation. Of course, scored the second goal for us in the FA Cup last week, but his opportunities under Gary O'Neill have been very, very limited. Obviously, Ryan Aitnor has had a very good season. We've even seen Matt Doherty play over on the left-hand side sometimes ahead of Hugo Bueno. So, uh, it'd be an interesting situation for him uh, this summer. Uh, new story today coming from Italy that Wolves reportedly have an interest in the Belgian defender, Coney de Winter. Uh, he's currently playing for Genoa on loan from Juventus. It's quite an interesting situation for the 21-year-old, though, because he's got an obligation clause with Genoa. I think if he plays another amount of games, maybe two or three more games, Genoa will automatically buy him um, for around €8 million Euros plus bonuses. So if Wolves do want to sign uh, De Winter, they'll have to speak to Genoa in the summer. And you would assume, you know, it'd be a very, very quick profit for them. But uh, recently be called up to the Belgium national team. So it'll be interesting to see if he does go on to make his debut for them. Uh, but early days on that 21-year-old centre-back, Coney de Winter, potentially Wolves have had, well, they have had uh, scouts watching him in recent days as well. I spoke about last week, the goalkeeper, Miles Svilar as well, currently playing for AS Roma. Again, more stories across from uh, Italy uh, this week. Il Messaggero have said that Roma need to raise €40 million Euros before June to help balance their books. And they are aware that 24-year-old goalkeeper Svilar can help them with those funds. Wolves did have someone in attendance last week watching the goalkeeper um, play against Brighton. Uh, Rui Patricio was the number one at uh, Roma under Jose Mourinho, but since he's gone and Daniele De Rossi has taken over, Miles Vilar has been the number one at Roma. So a very good young goalkeeper and obviously a position that Wolves potentially could look to strengthen this summer as well. Fabio Silva as well, I'm sure he's going to be the talk of many, many of these videos over the next few weeks or so. It was reported last weekend that Wolves are reportedly uh, looking to sell Fabio Silva this summer. It said that Wolves will want at least £15 million for the Portuguese striker. Very, very interesting because obviously that would break, if Rangers are wanting to have a permanent sale, that would break Rangers' uh, records, uh, record fee for a player. So £15 million. In my opinion, I think that's quite fair for Fabio Silva. Obviously, Wolves are going to take a massive hit on that and we could have arguments and discussions on this for, for you know days and weeks on end. But ultimately, Wolves will want, want to get him off the wage bill. He's on around fifty five grand a week right now at Wolves. Um, obviously, £15 million to sell on. Uh, you know, you just got to cut your losses and not every transfer in football is going to work. And ultimately, that is one of those. And we'll finish off with some nice news that Nelson Semedo, he picked up this uh, commemorative plaque yesterday uh, to commemorate him having 25 Portugal caps. He picked that accomplishment up uh, last year in June 2023. But he started again for Portugal last night, 
Got his 28th cap for Portugal and got two assists for them as well. Really decent performance by Nelson Semedo. And both Semedo and Totti Gomez now will be travelling back to the Wall squad. They're only playing the first game or taking part in the first game for Portugal. Um, so obviously more rest and more time with the Wall squad for them as well, which is really important. But guys, that is all for today's video. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if there's any more, new, more Wolves news. I'll be back again on the videos. We'll follow us at Talking Walls everywhere for the latest Walls news. As always, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys, and I'll catch you all very, very soon.